All right. So let's get right into it. I want to talk about Svelte Ad, which is a really interesting little project that I think a lot of people have heard about, but haven't used enough in the SvelteKit community. It essentially allows you to add some more complex frameworks to your SvelteKit application. I mostly use it for stuff like SCSS and Tailwind, but there are plenty of others, as you can see in this built-in integration adders. I'm sure more will come out, but if you're adding SCSS or Tailwind yourself, you are doing it the wrong way. And I should know because I was doing it the wrong way for a very long time. So. What I wanna do is I wanna kinda of take you through an example of how to do this. This is really easy to do, uh, and it will save you a ton of time if you want to add any of these pieces of frameworks or technologies or whatever. Essentially, the technologies that require you a little bit more setup, like you have to set up the you know Tailwind config file, you have to add it to the CSS, the global CSS, all of that, the imports it will do that for you, which is really cool. So let's start with SCSS, because I think that's an easier one uh, and one that we can do really quickly. First thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up the terminal. Of course, I have a bunch of code here already. So clear, just gonna clear that. And let's dive right in to creating our Svelte project. So we're actually gonna use PNPM today, uh, just because it's a new piece of tech that I wanna try out and it's a lot faster for doing all of our installations. Let's go to the Svelte kit documentation. You can see that they all use PM, or just regular NPM, but I'll show you how easy it is to just use PNPM. Uh, you just add a P and you paste everything and that's it. Uh, we'll label this as Svelte kit add test two, because I already have a test one, I believe, and we'll create it. We'll go through their CLI. I just like creating skeleton projects. Of course, we're gonna use TypeScript. Yes, yes. No browser testing, no unit testing, because we're not up with that right now. We will dive right into that folder, spelt kit test add two, and we will open up our VS Code instance right inside there. All right, so we have that opened up now. So what we want to do is make sure that it runs, right? So first thing we will need to actually do a NPM or PNPM install in this case. So we're gonna do that. You can see how fast it is compared to a regular NPM install. It's pretty much instantaneous, done in 3.5 seconds. That's why it's awesome. And we'll just run a quick PNPM run dev to, uh, see if our server is running and make sure everything's running at the baseline. So I like to do this with every project that I do. We'll open that up. We can see that welcome to Svelte Kit. This is coming straight from our Svelte Kit project. So we know it's running the way we want it to run. Now, if we want to add SCSS to our Svelte Kit and be able to do nested uh, CSS, stuff like that, let's do that right now. So we go back to this uh, Svelte Add project. We open up an instance of SCSS, the web page, and as you can see here, it's using an NPX installer. And again, with, we're using PNPM. So you can just add a P in front of there. We'll stop this server with a control C and add a P, paste that really quickly. As you can see, PNPX, we'll to add, enter. Let's let that build. And again, PNPM, almost, almost instantaneous, really quick, which is awesome. And now, what it does is that it not only like just does a regular NPM install of the package, it'll actually create all the file structure and stuff for you that you need for SCSS. For instance, it'll create this app SCSS file. It'll create a variable SCSS. It will also go into existing files like byte config and create the proper preprocessor options for you to actually use our variables that SCSS file and import it correctly. Now to test this, what we'll need to do is again, we'll run a quick pnpm run dev to make sure it's working at the baseline, right? Uh, actually, before you do that, what you wanna do is you actually wanna do a pnpm install again. Now, the reason I didn't have to do that was because I am using pnpm, it's installed more globally and it, it doesn't require you to always update your dependencies if you've already done it once, which I have. But for you, you will want to do a PM, PNPM install after you run the PNPMX Svelte add command. So that's really key. Now, 
Now that we've done an install, we'll do a PM PM run dev to make sure that everything's working as it should. Nothing should have changed at this point. So we can open up our dev server. We can see here it's all looking good. Nothing has changed. Now to see if the SCSS has been configured correctly, we will go into our routes. We will go into our page file and we will add a style tag here with a SCSS autocomplete right there, right? And what we're gonna do is we're actually not gonna pay attention to Copilot quite here. We're gonna do a, sorry, P tag. And to test that nesting is working, and that's what I usually use to test SCSS functionality, because CSS will not let you nest. We will just do an A tag here, and now we'll actually allow Copilot to finish that. And so here we're expecting our, only our link, our A tag to be read. So if we open that back up, you can see that in, that is in fact the case. So we know that SSS has been installed correctly and configured correctly in our project from one line of code. Now, if we want to try to do Tailwind, let's try to do that because that could be another fun one. Uh, let's, again, let's close this. Let's stop the server. We don't need that anymore. We will close this. We'll start from scratch again just to give... Uh, another example of starting from scratch and how quick it can be. So we need to go to npm create svelte. We can cd from that folder, cd from that folder as well. We'll go to our YouTube folder. And from here, we will again do the p, paste that npm in there, hack it in, and we'll do a svelte kit add tailwind folder. That's what the project is gonna be called. We'll go through our regular skeleton project uh, with TypeScript, of course, not whether we're using any of that right now, but I just wanna show you that it works with anything, including TypeScript. And then we'll need to CD into Svelte kit add tailwind, easy peasy. And we'll open up our code editor from here again. So again, we'll do the same thing real quick here where we will run our uh, PNPM install just to get all of our packages. It should be almost instantaneous, even faster than it was before. And here we will now do a PNPM run dev again, just to make sure it's working at a baseline. And already there's some sort of complaint, but we're gonna ignore that right now because I think it was from before. Yeah, it's from the fact that this has, was remained open. So we will go back to here and reopen that. Should be fine. Yep, everything's working as expected. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to our Svelte add project and find Tailwind CSS, not SCSS this time, and do the exact same thing. So we have our command here, which allows us to add all of the files and configurations we need for Tailwind. We will open that up, easy peasy, stop our server with control C, and again, add that P for, N for PNPM. Tailwind.scss, and that should add all the files that we need for Tailwind to work. As you can see, it's added a Tailwind config file right away. The only thing we have left to do is run a pnpm install command to install all the files that added into the package.json folder. Bam, it installed everything we need there. And from here on, we can just run a pnpm run dev again, and we see that it works open it up. Again, nothing should change except for the fact that it removed all of our base styles. So there was base styles before with underlines for our links. That has now been removed because it felt or the Tailwind styles have taken over that. So now to make sure that Tailwind works, we need to go in and do something very similar to what we did with SCSS. Go to our page and we will go to our page file again, just like we did with SCSS, and we will try to add a style with using Tailwind. So we'll make a class, and here we will just use autocomplete, and we wanna add an underline to the A tag to make sure that we can see that it's been underlined, because before, obviously, it was not. It removed all of our default styles. So we'll do that to make sure that worked. Let's open it up, boom, we have an underline here. We know that that's working now. We can do another, something else here, we can do a uh, uh, text large, let's say, that should increase our text size there. For the H1, it did by a slight amount. We can, you know, 
play the, play around with that with the text extra large, I believe, or I think it's just Excel is how it is in Tailwind. Yep, yeah, it got a little bit bigger and so on and so forth. So now we know that Tailwind is working in our project without any configuration really by us. We didn't have to do anything. The only caveat I will say is make sure that you have Tailwind uh, IntelliSense extension installed because it makes auto-completing Tailwind a lot easier. And I honestly, personal opinion, Tailwind without autocomplete is completely useless. So you need to have this extension, Tailwind, CSS, and IntelliSense installed to make use of Tailwind in, in a full capacity. And with that, I think we're done here. Uh, again, let us let me know in the comments what you thought of this. I know that a lot of you probably already heard about it and probably maybe even use it, but I wanted to get it out there as much as possible because I think it's a huge time saver for a lot of people starting a new SvelteKit project, especially with SvelteKit now running. In uh, now running uh, version 1.0. Thank you and stay tuned for more videos kind of like this where I go through quick starters and it really helps a ton if you subscribe. We also have a HTML of Things podcast you can listen to. I will have all the links in the description below. Let me know what you think.